going to be um, interviewing Mr. Smith. Hi, Layla. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. So, tell me about yourself. Like, how do you like being the principal of Blackman? I love it. Um, so, I have been at Blackman for 24 years. Um, I came here as a first year teacher in 2001. Um, never intending to teach for very long. I didn't think that this would be my career at all. Um, but Blackman was a place that was really kind to me and really good to me and patient with me as a young teacher. Um, and uh, not too long after that, I, I mean, I met my wife while I was uh, working here. She was uh, working at another school. And um, uh, over time, she works at the middle school. My, my daughters have all gone through Blackman Elementary and Middle, and our oldest is in college now. Our youngest is here. And uh, so Blackman is truly like family to me. Mm -hmm. um, so um, I love it. So when, when you first got here, like what did you teach? I taught ninth grade English for 17 years. Um, I taught um, mostly standard and inclusion English. Um, I taught some reading intervention along the way. I taught our Bible class when we first began that, um, which was a history class uh, in a sense. Um, and then I spent two years as an instructional coach. Um, I was our first instructional coach. And then during the pandemic, uh, an opportunity opened up to become an assistant principal. That was something that I never thought that I would be interested in, and certainly never thought I'd be the principal of the school. Um, but two years as an assistant principal, and now this is year three as a principal. So, like, why did you take that, like, assistant principal job? Like, did that, like, really speak, like, how to you? Yeah, I don't, I, that's a great question. Um, I was really enjoying the instructional coach role. Um, I was enjoying the idea of being um, supportive to teachers. They're my heroes, and so anything to, to help a teacher. And I don't know, just uh, like a lot of people, I think during that weird time of the pandemic, it gave you a little time to think. An opportunity opened up. Dr. Justice, our principal, then encouraged me to at least have the conversation. And, um, you know, I just felt strongly that if the door opened up, that I'd step through it. And if it didn't, I was really fine doing what I was doing. And, um, and, and opportunity presented itself. So. That's really cool. So what, like, like, outside of being a principal, like, what things do you like to do? Wow. Um, so I guess being in, working in a school and having children of my own, uh, there's not a lot of time for hobbies. So um, uh, our, our youngest, she, Kate, she is in the band and, and it's, uh, it runs cross country and so that takes up some time there. Um, I'm involved in our church and that takes up some time. Um, but, but mostly, I mean, this is a busy place. You guys keep us uh, plenty active. So a lot of my time is spent at band concerts or choir concerts or ball games or plays. and. I wouldn't have it any other way. So do you come to like all, like everybody's like events for the school? Wow, so our our administrative team, there's um, six of us, and so we divide up who's responsible for, because we, we just can't be at yeah. every single thing every yeah. night. Um, so, but we make it a point that that we at least are, are present at at least one thing of, of everything as much as possible. Um, I wish it could be more, but uh, you know I think it's important for students that are involved in things that don't get a lot of fans or crowds. I think it's important for them to know that the principals um, are cheering them on and invested so as much as I can. That's really nice for you, Virginia. Well, it's part of the job we think. Mm -hmm. So, what else do you think you should share with us? Um, I think. The main thing that I would want students to know is that Blackman has always been um, a very special and unique place. Um, we have always had a very caring, um, compassionate, excited, academically strong student body. Um, it is all of our collective responsibilities for that to continue. Right? Mm -hmm. I think everybody wants to be in a school and a place where, that you're proud of and you think is a good place and a safe place. Um, this is our 25th anniversary. There's been many, many people that have gone before all of us to make this the place that it is. We have a collective job to hand that off year after year and, and continue that tradition. That doesn't happen on accident. So 
that's why when you emailed and said, can you come do this? I said, absolutely, right? Let's mm -hmm. come and support our students. But it's a teacher responsibility. It's a, it's a school leader responsibility. But it's a student responsibility. Like, we all, we're all in this together. So um, I think that's the biggest thing is we won't continue to be great accidentally. We just have to work at it. So. Okay. Thank you for coming with us today and sharing your experience as, as a teacher and principal. Thank you. Uh, well, my name is Layla, and this is my interview with Mr. Smith. Go Blaze. Go Blaze.